Hey guys and welcome back to F1 2014 and part 4 of my scenario mode walkthrough. Take Maintain second place whilst managing fuel. An aggressive middle stint is coming back to haunt Ferrari. Their driver will be trying to manage what little fuel they have and it's going to take all his experience to maintain this position until the end of the race. So in this challenge we've got a particular focus on fuel management which we'll see later in the challenge. We're also going to look at what the Interlagos circuit is driving like because for such a short track it is quite tricky. It's got undulating corners, a um, lot of camber changes and with these new turbo powered cars that really comes to life on the game. So we're coming up the main straight now, up the hill, over the crest of the hill, starting a new lap. I'm tending to find that if you can break quite easily and trail break a little bit into that corner, it, it's better than risking it all and diving into it, because um, you can quite easily lock the, lock the fronts and go straight on. Coming into the DRS mode, uh, DRS zone, sorry, um, don't actually use DRS on this bit of the game. Um, but on that last corner there, you can actually that's one you can actually break really late on and gain a lot of time. Here I'm finding with the wheel, it's quite easy to just downshift once, maybe twice. Bit of a mistake there, but no need to break. Through here, you want to be really, really patient with the car. The um, quite steep camber change may, means that the car wants to get away from you, as you can see there as we're shifting up to the third place, uh, third gear, sorry. Um, and same on this corner, be patient, don't get on the power too soon because the car really wants to squirm. Same through here as well. And this is all really due to the, to the um, curvature of the track and the camber um, that you're seeing. So you might see that the fuel indicator light has come on. Now I've said in previous videos that that means you've got two laps of fuel left. So I recommend that of course you shift into lean mix one and try to short shift when possible. If you're on auto gears that's already a little bit easier um, because the game kind of does that for you but if you've got control of your own gears, short shift a little bit, don't be bouncing off the limiter and you should be fine. No need to worry about Rosberg's pace behind the AI, still at this stage, not going to challenge you. So here we're moving on to part three of the easy stage of scenario mode and one of the challenges which so far I've found to be the most entertaining. You're in the Force India, you're starting from seventh on the grid, the aim is to get to fifth but as we saw in part one of easy mode there's plenty of cars ahead of us and plenty of cars to have some fun with in terms of overtaking. So we get a good start here, good traction and good power from the Mercedes engine first thing to do is to just drift around the outside of a couple of cars. The AI doesn't really tend to defend very hard, as you can see Rosberg practically jumps out of our way and all of a sudden we've gone from 7th to 3rd which is now 2nd as we take the Red Bull. So as you can expect, the um, in terms of the challenge and getting 5th place, we're pretty much there already, there's going to be no problem with that at all. But can we overtake Lewis Hamilton and win in this Force India? That's what we're going to see in the next couple of laps. Um, but in the meantime, let's see what this Shanghai track is driving like. So these two corners have always been a challenge on the game, and once again they are this year as well, particularly with the squirminess of, of the cars. The Force India obviously isn't the quickest car either, so you've got to be patient through there, um, because if you get out wide, you're in a whole heap of trouble not just for the two corners themselves, but pretty much all the way down to here because it compromises your run through those two left-handers and onto that straight. This is another corner which um, is a bit tricky now with the turbo power. The car wants to step out and oversteer a fair amount. But obviously you don't want to do too much because that's, once again, going to be limiting what you can do down this long, long straight. 
but we're hitting it up into seventh gear, breaking at 100 meters quite calmly down into first gear. And so far, so good. We're still in contact with the Mercedes, and we've still got a chance of winning this three lap race. So we're cutting halfway through lap two now. We've got a really good first sector, and we've really closed on Lewis Hamilton. Um, so this was a good little show of how the AI is racing against you. You can see that the AI is going very de defensive, leaving just about enough room around the outside. And we just brake hard and stick it to the outside, hold the line and take the position quite nicely. So once again, I've said it already, but in terms of passing the objective, that's pretty straightforward. But this is another good opportunity to practice your um, overtaking and in this situation but if you're defending from an overtake as well uh, the AI not particularly aggressive in terms of wants to overtake but this is obviously on the easy part of the game so that's to be expected but there we go position defender quite nicely just hold the inside line and there's no problems there at all so the last lap of the run that I did nothing really to report, nothing of note, just keep it steady, keep it on the track, get a good feel for the car, and that's about it. Another impenetrable bollard there, the bollards seem even harder on this game I find and so far, but that's the win and the objective completed. So that's the end of today's video guys, if you've enjoyed it then click the like button. In the next video we'll come back to some scenario mode and focus on wrapping up the easy section of the game mode. So if you want to see when that comes out straight away then click the subscribe button either in the uh, normal button below or the annotation in the top right. Uh, on the screen are links to the last scenario mode video and my Russian Grand Prix review. I've been Andrew the Blade and have a nice day.